So today I'm going to talk through combining typography and illustration as one to create a final piece. The base alphabet I have here is Sahara Bodoni, uh, which is a more high contrast version of Bodoni. So you've got really severe thicks and thins between the letter forms, which is perfect uh, for translating it into watercolour because you get a lot of the texture here. So this is kind of the starting point of the letter forms that I'm using. This is a sample of the watercolour effect here. And the word that I'm going to work on today is yes, very positive. Um, I wanted to combine maybe some illustrative uh, plants and flower elements. So this is a bit of a sample here. And the starting point for these was some cutouts that I found in a, in a, a flower, kind of an old school flower reference book. So I've found a few elements here and here which I've scanned in. And this is kind of the final element that I'm going to join and look at combining the text with the illustration. So I've already prepared this kind of outline here. So you can see I've started to integrate the text with the flowers. So basically I'm going to use this as the base with the light box underneath and get the watercolour paper on top and watch the magic happen. And so that's the finished piece and you can see how you can really get the nice texture with the watercolour paper here coming through in the letters which is something I really like to do when working with kind of an existing font and you can bring it to life with the illustration.